Andrew Newman and I met at a congress of the Institute of Animal Technology in the UK many years ago. Over the years we have discussed environmental enrichment in animal welfare programs and our ideas started to center around the fact that we think it is important to increase the functional space for animals in small laboratory cages, allowing animals to have lots of different opportunities and complexity to engage in species-specific behaviors. We think environmental enrichment is important because it allows animals to engage in their environment, not only from a physical point of view, like for example climbing or exploring, but also from a psychological point of view, solving problems, thinking, navigating, and also of course their social aspect. To know whether a particular enrichment object or feature in the environment is valuable to the animal, we can use different ways of testing, one of them being behavioral observations. We can see how much the animals engage in a particular activity, how much they explore, and how much time they spend doing that, alone or together. Especially in a small environment like a laboratory cage, it is important that we make sure that the activities and objects that we provide are indeed valuable to the animal. The enrichment activities and features that Andrew Newman and myself have trialed are part of a more informal approach. We were looking and wondering what would be valuable to the animals and how can we increase the surface space, the functional space, for animals to use in these laboratory cages. So we just started thinking about the different goals of what we would like animals to do. To, for example, engage in their environment, explore, solve problems, being able to navigate and climb and swing, or socially be together or apart. So environmental enrichment has goals that we were trying to achieve. And so when we started trialing them, we would design ideas around those particular goals. None of them have been formally tested, but that is something that we hope to do in the future. When you're thinking about designing environmental enrichment and goal-oriented enrichment, you're of course never completely sure that what you think will be enriching to animals is indeed also enriching to the animals. And therefore it's always important to do behavioral observations and research. What we think is enriching might not be enriching to them, so sometimes it can be surprising to find that there are differences between what we think and what they experience. We know mice are curious and like to explore the environment, they are interactive animals. So it was not surprising that when we provided different types of objects and features in the environment, the animals readily took to them. We did see some preferences for certain devices and certain activities, but in general the animals were very happy to see all these different activities and opportunities in their environment and they readily engage with them. There are of course a lot of practical considerations to think about when you're designing environmental enrichment for animals. First, it has to of course be safe for animal and for caretakers. We have to be able to monitor the animal's health and well-being on a regular basis, like daily. But we also have to think about how easy is it to implement the enrichment, to clean, to autoclave and to even stack. These ideas that we developed have been part of more of an informal pilot study. To just explore the ideas and think about what are the opportunities that we could potentially provide for the animals. But of course we hope that ideas like this and of course many other ideas that others could come up with is something that will be further explored in the future. The ultimate aim of our work was of course to think about and improve animal welfare and especially mice welfare in this case. So we want to think about what are the opportunities that we have and what can be done to increase surface space and provide for animals to engage in complex environments, to have more choices and control and to focus on positive welfare.